Hello. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name's Leandra, and yeah, I was starting the vlog off near my desk. I'm fully sure in the last two vlogs, I've just been on my desk, but it's just kind of where I live now. I didn't film yesterday because I honestly just didn't want to film. Uh, I was really tired, um, and everything's just kind of happening and speeding up, and yeah, I woke up really early today um, to start working on my open memo because the plan was to work on it during the weekend and I did except that I got really caught up in writing, deleting, and then rewriting the things that are already written instead of just kind of writing a draft, like a full on draft. So the majority of my time was spent writing, then thinking my writing was stupid and then deleting it and then rewriting and just second guessing everything. And basically two days kind of wasted, kind of a little down the drain to be honest, but I have a writing conference with my professor today at 11 30 and i want to get as much as i can on paper which was the original plan so that when she looks over it today she can just kind of give me as much feedback as she can with how much i have on the google or word document but everything's just tired um, and it's things a little bit more because we're supposed to get a break at this point because if things were regular and non-covid like duke law usually gives its law students a break starting the week of october 7th and it's a writing break so all you do is just research and write and get feedback and all that stuff without having to go to classes or read for classes and our class is really feeling the sting of not getting that break to be honest because i'm a little tired i'm not gonna say that i'm burnt out because i haven't gotten to that point yet, but i'm i'm pretty tired and just the classes and the writing and everything like that's just like it's kind of a lot and it's very difficult to sit and like write a lot more than it is to just sit and read but sitting and writing is hard especially when your brain just decides to be empty <laughs> for no apparent reason so i'm writing as much as i can i'm gonna go get some coffee because i haven't had any yet and also some breakfast and yeah welcome to the vlog <laughs> All right, just got out of my um, writing conference and also office hours because I went to office hours afterwards just to see the type of questions everybody else was asking and I got some great feedback during my conference that made it a lot easier so right now I'm feeling pretty inspired I've already kind of went through and kind of taken some things out added some things in uh, based on what my professor said so for the next couple of hours i will be here if you need me writing i have my coffee i will probably get more coffee and i'm just going to write i feel inspired so why not what are my incentives if i'm the defendant am i do i want to settle or no my, my incentives to settle are pretty high. My contract class is in like 10 minutes. I just realized that I forgot to read a case um, when I was reading for it last Friday. So I am rushing to read it within the next five minutes so that if I get cold called because he actually restarted like his cold call list and I feel like I might get cold called. If I get cold called on this case, I will scream. I will literally, I will scream. <laughs> So we are good on the cold calling. We did not get cold called today. We actually didn't even get to the case, so I stressed out for no reason, but that's very common. I am tired, <laughs> really tired. Last night I stayed up till about 1.30 to 2 a.m. writing my paper. I will say that I finished writing the entire draft. I was very motivated last night. Don't know where that motivation came from. Don't know why it didn't come before, but I have everything written down. The main thing is just, just like the office hours aren't exactly the most helpful thing for me right now when it comes to the substance of the paper, the substance of the writing. The TAs that we have are blue booking TAs. They're more about like citations and they're not really allowed to help us with like substance well no one is allowed to help us with the substance of the paper except for the professor and she doesn't really 
she helps but like generally she doesn't, she doesn't guide as much as obviously undergrad would which i shouldn't expect but i would really love right now because this is all brand new and i just feel kind of like a fish in a new pond i also feel like i've been really heavy on the screens when it comes to everything and that's not gonna let up anytime soon because I need to constantly be rewrite, rewriting my paper, fixing it, sending emails to my professor so she can check whatever she needs to check and give me whatever advice she wants to give me and you know classes, zoom, all this other stuff. It just it's kind of exhausting but I have so many things to do and I'm just my instinct is telling me to do none of them really. And it looks like my contracts professor according to the group chat assigned eight cases seven cases for two seven cases for tomorrow all right okay everything's fine Every everything's fine i'm very tempted to make the executive decision to just just pass away because of how much work i have to do the ball is dropping it has is definitely dropping this week and i know it wouldn't be this bad if i just written the memo over the weekend like i really wanted to but here we are okay so first off I want to eat lunch so it's two about 2 30 i want to eat lunch and we take a 30 until three then i want to go outside if it's not too hot i just don't want to be in this room anymore i've been in this room in this setting for so long for so many days i just want to go outside so we can go outside and do what i can do outside um which is i have a crim law video like the lecture to watch today because i went to class but because i slept like so late last night my head was just spacey it was just really really spacey so i'm just gonna go back and rewatch the lecture <laughs> i have a networking event at 4 30 that i signed up for it's for the black law student association um i need to read for my contracts class which is seven cases i need to read for my civil procedure class well i already read for it but i did not or forgot that i was on call or i will be on call for tomorrow so i want to make sure that i have everything ready all the answers dot my i's and cross my t's basically i need to email my professor for my writing for my paper um, questions because that's the only way that she's taking questions now um the go dark period is on friday which again don't understand why there is such a thing as a go dark period but that's basically when they don't answer your questions anymore it's on friday at like 12 p.m so i'm trying to send her as many questions as i can as many questions as she will let me i want to revise my paper and then i have pilates at 7 p.m let's get started Question is when I'm in life. Okay, so so it's real life. <laughs> um, it, it was a different landscape when I came for rent. I think that's one thing you'll have to be aware of. Is you may go to a firm because it, it looks great and the people are great and maybe they got the script for that black folks. interrupting the video to bring you guys today's sponsor which is mnemonic with their tiny little miniature printer the miniature printer allows you to print both labels and sticky post-it notes my favorite function is the sticky post-it function because i use it in my case book you can click the side right here and it'll just pop up a post-it or you can go on their website where you can type in anything you want to type in you can add in a picture you can draw in anything you want and just print it right on it's sticky when it comes out and you just put it right on the book or wherever you want to use it so useful when it comes to writing down tests that come out in the notes or just writing down questions when i'm reading a case and i want to make sure i ask my professor for clarification so i've been using this a lot recently i'm pretty sure it's going to come in handy when it comes to things like finals and i can't recommend it enough it's so slick and pretty and very minimalist and i'm going to include a link in the description box below where you guys can check out this printer it's really good for anything not just like schoolwork around the house the printer or the label maker is really good for when you are doing a business like Poshmark I know a lot of people are doing things like Depop I'm probably going to be selling things on Depop too so that could be really useful so make sure you guys click on the link in the description to check out the mnemonic miniature printer just got done being on call you guys can see like on my face i have like extra dark marks because i 
pick my face when I'm stressed. I don't know if anybody else does this, but when I get like stressed out or if I don't understand like something in a reading and it's kind of starts stressing me out, I will literally stop studying to go pick my face. It's it's such a bad habit. It is now almost 9 30 i just got out of my civil procedures class where i was on call and my issue with being on call is that i just haven't figured out yet how to both be on call and then pay attention enough to retain information that the professor is saying and write down notes while i'm also juggling the fact that i'm scared that i'm on call and he's going to call me and i'm going to get the wrong answer like sometimes like i said in my contract class when i got cold called is i didn't write any notes because it's just so much nerves like the nerves just kind of bundle up with my civil procedures uh, professor it's a little bit easier because he's not as harsh so when we started the call um he asked me a question <laughs> my brain just kind of turned off and it was almost automatic and um it wasn't necessarily like the right answer that he was looking for and then he just explained and it made a lot more sense to me it wasn't the worst thing in the world i did redeem myself later on um but the material itself right now is really hard and with everything that's going on my recall for all the past things we learned like past you know civil procedure rules and uh, statutes and all this other stuff it's really difficult like it's not coming as fast as it would like i'm not putting things together as fast as i would have before i got you know so stressed and all this stuff was kind of happening last night i didn't want to stay up like i did the night prior where i stayed up to almost 2 a.m because it just made yesterday really really hard so i decided to split up my contracts reading since he did assign those seven eight cases i decided to split it up from um last night and then today like right now when i have this break so i'm just going to spend the next couple two ish hours reading i think i left over like three cases my mind just kind of blanked on a certain part of the syllabus with the reading and when i was reading the cases i was like wait that's kind of doesn't make too much sense and I ended up kind of like googling it and figuring it out but it was in the prior reading that for some reason my mind just skipped so i want to go back and read that in addition to the cases so i'm just going to start reading for the girls who do like pilates like reformers pilates which is what i started doing which is what I did yesterday i was thinking about quitting it yesterday because i didn't feel like i was working out like i wasn't sweaty um, but then today i have like a different type of soreness like it's not really painful but i feel muscles in my body that i probably wouldn't necessarily feel so for those of you who do pilates let me know if it like works for you as an overall like workout we've got a friend she wants to spend time with me but she doesn't want to be close to me so that's a cat for you <laughs> yeah so i'm just going to scream because of course the first person to get cold called is me <laughs> which wouldn't be an issue except my mind is just crazy right now and then my internet cuts off like right in the middle of class for like five minutes so he probably didn't get a chance to fully cold call me that means i'm on the docket for another cold call very very soon i just don't know when on top of that all the reading that i did yesterday for contracts and the reading i just spent the last couple of hours doing to make sure everything was read well unnecessary completely just at least for this class completely unnecessary all of that reading is for next week because we did not get to it we just uh, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lay down for like 30 ish minutes and just like watch some Netflix. Before I came to law school, I was told that crying in law school is very normal, and I haven't yet since school started until today. So you win law school. I'm gonna cry. Today was just such a hard day. Like, it's just so hard and this week has been such a hard week just in general and I don't want to like or I didn't want to like complain or acknowledge how hard it was but it's just it's been a really tough week like it's been really tough and it just feels like I keep upping my productivity as much as I can and it's like I'm not winning guys I don't feel like I'm winning like I don't see any like end to it and it's scaring me a little bit because we're not even close to finals yet like at all and I can only imagine how finals is gonna be like studying and everything but it's just it was just a really tough day <laughs> and I think I just need to cry because also just like the lack of consistent sleep is wearing at me and it, it, it upset me with 
me like staying up to read and then reading during my break when I could have been doing something else like taking a nap and then not even getting close to the cases because like I would have loved to take a nap <laughs> anyway I'm just gonna cry and then I'll be good <laughs> in like an hour I'm gonna watch a show on Netflix and not feel bad about the fact that I'm not doing work and then we'll be fine <laughs> Good morning! We have a new visitor courtesy of this very long and stressful week. You can tell how long and stressful it was because of how big this is. So I have my proof <laughs> that I have been stressed and just going crazy this week. Um, I just got back from going to my Pilates class this morning. I was going to cancel it because I wanted to do work but then I figured I probably need it more now than ever. So I went and it was great so so great i think it just gets better the more i go i think yesterday i just needed to like cry because of all the buildup you know when you ever just start crying and then you start crying about a bunch of different things i think i just needed to literally cry because the last even the last two weeks have just been a lot of lot of lot of work obviously i knew that i was going to be signing up for that amount of work it's just it's still like a lot and i just need to realize that it's still a lot today is friday and the silver lining about that is usually on fridays i do my contract readings because i did them all yesterday when i was supposed to be taking my break i don't need to do them today i'll probably review them um, Sunday night to make sure that I'm up to date with everything but I'm just gonna spend the rest of today just working on my paper I'm gonna try and be outdoors as much as possible just for like the nature therapy um, and just work on it I decided not to stress anymore about the paper like I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna put my best foot forward as I always do and whatever will come of that will come of it um, but I don't think that me stressing and not stressing makes any real difference, to be honest. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it um, to some degree and I didn't depress you guys too much. And again, thank you to our sponsor, Mnemonic, with their miniature printer for sponsoring this video and helping me get through this very tough week. The link will be in the description, so make sure you guys check it out. And I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.